Hey guys, how are you? Aside from the fart issue. <laughs> oh, pardon me. Don't worry. That's not. A, it's not a real and present issue. We were just, uh, yeah, discussing flavored mineral waters. Oh, okay, okay. Like that's that's what you do on a junk. What is your favorite? Fl- <laughs> well, I said that the limoncello Lacroix is by far the superior sparkling flavored whatever on the market. I'm firm in that belief. I want a okay. freaking Lacroix in like <laughs> partnership. Actually, now while we're here, Warner Brothers. <laughs> Let's talk some LaCroix. <laughs> <laughs> well, was this what it was like? Look, I, I'm watching this movie. I love this movie, guys. And I, I think all, everyone was having such a fun time being a part of it. I, I just feel like watching you guys find these characters with this short of time so quickly. That's a challenge. But what was it like working with James and and finding these, creating these characters? So, you know, well, so it wasn't you. wasn't too much. Of, I I had a few years in the bank. Um, yeah, you had. You're the returning. So my, the process of finding Boomerang uh, for me this time around was was pretty easy. It's kind of easy anyway. I, you know, he he really doesn't exist too far outside the realms of um, how I am in the real world. This is a version of me. <laughs> That is further away from the way I live my life. I'm closer to Boomerang than what we see here today, but you know, I'm playing <laughs> playing ball. And um, you know, what were your first impressions of James, you guys? Mm. Uh, first impressions? I don't know. I mean, he's just a smart, like, funny dude. Who I met James a few years ago, uh, talking about something else. He's always been someone I wanted to work with. Uh, for sure. And I think on set, what I loved about his approach is that he's always kind of relaxed, like he knows what he wants. That's at least the impression he gave me. Um, and yet there's so much going on. And to see someone who's, um, I don't know, having so much fun while they do that and, and yet kind of able to control that and control all this, I mean, not... Um, I don't feel like this group is like full of ego or anything like that, but you've got a lot of like full on characters and a lot of, um, I don't know, really kind of larger than life people uh, yeah. on a set. And he manages to kind of just orchestrate this uh, with, with real craft and kind of ease and makes everyone have fun. Everyone's kind of shining in what they do. Um, I don't know, man. Yeah, he he somehow kind of gets gains that trust really easily from everybody. It's a great working Flula. environment. Yeah, yeah. Flula, you and you you're kind of, you've done a lot of animation. What was it like for you working with James? Oh, it's delicious. It's I feel like I I've just met him. You know, when we began this film, I feel like I'm meeting Neo at the very end of the Matrix. You know, he just stopped those bullets. They just played that Rage Against the Machine song. He's flying up into the sky. He's controlling all of the things. It was very wonderful just to watch this man. Height of his powers. Michael Jordan in 92. Get out of the way. <laughs> I agree. And Nathan, you you're, you guys have such a bond. Was it just... What is it like for, for all these years still seeing him grow as a filmmaker and make this film? You know what? I was just saying this earlier. Uh, in my perspective... Uh, James has really not changed at all. Mm. That quiet, easy confidence that Jai was talking about, he has a vision. He's not confused about what's going to happen. He knows what's going to happen next, and he can tell you, and he can explain to you why, and he can... uh, He's done all the hard work. Uh, So the other thing I think has changed is the amount of people who know they can trust him. And that's, I think... Uh, us as an audience as well when has james gunn ever let us down yeah and unfortunately we gotta wrap it up you guys are all great it was a pleasure talking to all of you guys thanks man. Pleasure, excuse, you. excuse my one-year-old animal that was needing requiring wrangling in the background oh no I worries it. i like really your guitar it. too by the way oh thanks <laughs> brother robert dubois He's in prison for putting Superman in the ICU with a kryptonite bullet. I'm not joining your suicide squad. We'll see. My court date is coming up. And Miss Waller said maybe you could help me out. You're stretching in my door! Everyone stand down. Miss Waller, I don't- Stand down! I wouldn't take such extreme measures if this mission weren't more important than you could possibly imagine. Are you in or out? Good. 
Let's meet your team. It's okay, I'm not okay. Each member is chosen for his or her own completely unique set of abilities. I need to feel the raindrops on my head, on my head. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Had to go number two. Good to know. Is this thing a dog? A dog? What kind of dog do you think it is, mate? I'm gonna go with Afghan hound. Oh my god, is it a werewolf? Yo, they sent me next to a werewolf! Yo, let me out! Hey, hey, he's not a werewolf, okay? He's a weasel. He's harmless. I mean, he's not harmless. He's killed 27 children, but, you know. Your mission is to destroy every trace of something known only as Project Starfish. Any questions? Starfish is a slang term for a butthole. Think there's any connection? No. No. All right. Let's get it. This is suicide. Well, that's kind of our thing. I'm a superhero! That's my dad. I'm gonna get you out of your life. I'm going to get you out of here alone. Ratatouille, what do you got? Bird. <laughs> now, now it. Stay off the comp.